I didn't hate it. Um, but it wasn't perfect. Now, I remember the original two, okay, I was around for the original two, and they were just like action films. You knew what you're doing with them, it's just like action, you know, good guy versus predator. Is it was simple to the point, that's what it was. This one they tried to add a bit more in it. Um and I think that some of the new elements they put in it lit it down a bit. Okay, so there's uh there's a soldier and he witnesses the crash of a ship and then he sends some artifacts, including like the helmet and wrist put bit to a PA box, um, so that he can use it as evidence, but then he doesn't pay the postage fees or whatever, so it gets sent to his wife's house. His son sees it, he thinks it's a game, and then it's just like, okay, why is, why, I just didn't feel it needed this. It didn't need his son. It was an autistic kid, okay, I've got nothing against autistic kids. If you watch my other videos, you know I work in care, I work with people with autism, learning disabilities, uh, so I've got nothing against them. I think they're brilliant. But just not in this film, okay? Not in this film. It didn't work for me in, in this particular film. It it just added an extra element which wasn't necessary. And it, it I just found it frustrating. Um there are a few light-hearted moments in it, and they tried to do some funny bits. They had some like ex-soldiers who'd like lost the plot or whatever, and they're supposed to be like comic relief and I don't know if that really works as well as I would have liked it to have done and there wasn't nearly enough of the Predator and then it turns out that that Predator is like a traitor and there's another Predator who first tries to get that kill the original Predator and then everyone's fighting each other instead of trying to get rid of threat and it's just like will you just stop killing each other for God's sake you morons. Uh, it's just frustrating, and the and the original one, I tried to leave a gift for the humans because like they had been like messing around with genes, or whatever. And this you, a predator had some human DNA, so I don't know, maybe he felt some compassion or something, and he tried to give the humans uh, something, which you find out at the end. You know, fuck it, I just tell you spoilers. It's an it's an anti predator suit. It's an armor suit. You find that out right at the very very end, and. I just had like echoes of Independence Day 2 where you have an alien race who tries to give the humans weapons uh, to uh, defend them and I hated that film so much and it's just like the whole thing, the whole vibe of the... F it's like the whole vibe of the film was just leading up to this one revelation at the end the gift because we know that the, he'd been trying to give them a gift and the whole thing about it was a setup for maybe another one a sequel after this i don't know if they're going to make a sequel i don't really care to be honest and it could have done better i went in with high hopes because i like the predator films the original two you've got arnold schwarzenegger and danny glover i like those films okay though to me those are classics there will always be something i can go back to time and time again and watch over and over again and i mean like the big reveal at the end of the predator 2 uh well it wasn't really a big reveal it was kind of like it was an easter egg actually and it had the alien heads and um from the uh, xenomorph uh, wherever they're pronounced um, revealing that the alien world and the Predator world is actually all part of the same universe and then of course that spawned all the Predator alien films and games and such things and the reveal at this one just sucked it was terrible it's like uh, it, oh wow it's, it's a Predator suit and then and oh no I just mm, there was just so many frustrating moments um, but so I really wanted to enjoy this film I wanted to like it. There wasn't nearly enough action. The, the Predator just wasn't cool enough, okay? Yeah, they've improved on the uh, visual effects. I mean, you, you've got 80s visual effects versus teen whatever decade we're in now visual effects. And, you know, so obviously seeing what the Predator see is much better. But back then, I mean, the effects were a bit, you know, what the hell's going on? And so other than updating computer effects, which you expect, the story 
wasn't better. It just, no, I found it frustrating. I found it annoying. But it's just, it's, what, what really bugged me about it is, is this. It's one of those nearly films. Okay, there's there are some films which are amazing and some films which are terrible. And then there are some films which are sort of mediocre. And then there are some films which are almost amazing but they never quite cross the line into being amazing they just play around with it it's like look what we could possibly be look how amazing we could be but we're not gonna be we're gonna hold back we're, we're not quite gonna cross the line from mediocre to amazing it's just we're for whatever reason maybe lack of imagination lack of budget or just lack of skill, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't cross the line from being a mediocre film into an amazing film. It just doesn't do that. It's just on the line the whole way, and they are the films that frustrate me, because I can deal with a rubbish film, because it's a rubbish film. I can deal with an okay film, because it's an okay film, and obviously I like good, brilliant films, but films that just keep teasing you, saying, we're nowhere mediocre, but we could be good, but we're not gonna be. Those are the films that just frustrate me so much. And this is one of those films. It just had elements that just didn't work for me. Over and over and over and over again. It's like, okay, they've got the joke. Okay, the, these ex-soldiers, they, they've, they're a bit loony. Okay, we've done that joke. Let's do that joke again and again and again. Okay, we've got the kid who's in jeopardy, he's walking around with the Predator armour, he doesn't know what it is and they need to rescue him. I just felt like I've seen this before, he's walking around, it's Halloween, I just, I was just thinking, I've seen this before. I can't picture a film right now, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that film before. And everything about it, and we've got like the, the army intelligence guy who knows what's going on, but then he has to kill all the witnesses, it's like, I feel as if I've seen this before. There was nothing particularly original about this film. There was nothing particularly that made me go, wow, that was an amazing film. I'm really glad I watched that. It just didn't happen. Um, it just could have been so much better. And for whatever reason, it just wasn't. And that is the kind of film that bugs me the most. They're the frustrating ones. And this was that. I wanted a lot more Predator. A lot more. I go to a film called... The Predator. I want to see a film about the Predator. I don't want to see a film about a kid who thinks that the armour is a computer game or some messed up soldiers or some stupid scientist woman. I want to see a film about a Predator and this was not it. So yeah, it was annoying. Anyway, that's my thoughts. I've got loads of other film reviews on this channel. I'm going to be doing loads more in the future, but I also do loads of other types of videos. So if you subscribe to my channel, don't be surprised if I do something completely different next because I do all sorts of different things. I'm also going to be doing a series of videos about me preparing to do the Three Peaks Challenge for charity. There's a link in the description below about the charity. It's just given page. So go there, donate. It's a brilliant cause. I'm going to be going on about this all the way up until May next year. So um, subscribe um, to my channel for all sorts of things, film reviews, blogs, challenges, all this, everything else, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.